to know who you ask, they'll tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the Veil to the Mongol spot on Creston. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lane. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. What's well, shaking with it, y'all? You already know how it's going down. This is your boy, J Hood, and all that. And you are now tuned into a brand new episode of the Tells from the Hood vlog series, man. Stop what you're doing right now. Go stream or download my brand new album entitled Self. And while you at it, snatch up the Pesci trilogy, one through three, and grab up the best of hood flashbacks from the block while you at it, all right? Check. Let's get right into it, man. On today's episode, we're going to speak about how I was one of the first New York rappers with a mixtape hosted by DJ Drama. Real rap, all right? Let's go. Now, during that time period, uh, we were competing with two to three other crews out of New York. You know what I'm saying? As far as like on the mixtape scene, that was G Unit, Dipset, and Rockefeller, right? So, how we viewed things was G Unit kind of like had an upper hand on us because they had a DJ that was also plugged into a radio station. You feel me? And that was DJ Who Kid. So, they had Who Kid who used to host all their mixtapes and play their shit on the radio that he was on. So, we were like, you know what? We got to put our stamp on, you know, a DJ and have us, excuse me, have ourselves an in house DJ as well that's going to distribute our mixtapes. So, we kind of stamped Big Mike. You know, a lot of y'all know Big Mike, you know, especially all of y'all who uh, used to cop all our mixtapes. We stamped Big Mike. We started giving him all the exclusives and everything basically ran through him. And he was like our in-house DJ and shit like that. So um, he was putting out all type of mixtapes on like Sheik, on Styles, on me, Kiss, you know what I mean? On, on all of us, basically. And, um, you know, I started a mixtape series called The Countdown, which was uh, a countdown to Tells From The Hood, which was supposed to be, you know, my solo album, obviously. So we did part one and two. Now, uh, G-Unit had shot money handling their PR and other things like that. We had Super Mario. Super Mario used to do PR on Bad Boy. So not only was he the president of D-Block, but he also did PR for us as well. You know what I'm saying? Because he had knowledge on, on that. So he was the one who sent all of our mixtapes out to all the different DJs and shit like that, right? Now, he suggested to me that we get DJ Drama to co-host my mixtape due to the fact that he was on fire in the South, you know what I mean? Like, everybody know Gangsta Grills was crazy. Like, DJ Drama was killing shit down bottom. He's like, you know what? No no other um, New York artist has a mixtape hosted by DJ Drama. That should be super dope if we was to let him co-host your shit with Big Mike. I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. So um, we called Drama up. Like I said, we was on fire at the time. I was like killing everything. So Drama was, you know, he didn't even have to think twice about it. He was definitely with it. Um, we, we we put it together. He sent his drops and all that. And Big Mike put his drops on it. We put the tape together and put it out. And the streets ate it up. Start flying like hotcakes. You know what I'm saying? Like every spot that sold mixtapes, that shit was flying. You know, all the, uh, the bootleggers was getting it off. And the shit was like literally on fire and shit, you know what I'm saying? And after that, a couple of different artists start, you know, following that same, I ain't going to say that, that blueprint, but they start getting him to host their shit also as far as like New York artists and shit like that. But I was one of the first New York artists to have DJ Drama host my mixtape. Not a mixtape totally hosted by him because like I said, it was co-hosted by Big Mike. So it was a collaboration, but nonetheless, it was hosted by him. You feel me? The Countdown was the name of the mixtape. And we was actually supposed to do another volume to it, but we didn't get around to, to putting it out because I started doing all type of, you know, other shit as far as like mixtapes and shit like that. But um, that shit was definitely, a, you know, a staple on the mixtape scene. And it was something that had never been done. And that shit was fire. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to give you guys a little backdrop on how that came about and also... You know, put that out there that I was one of the first New York artists to have a DJ drama mixtape. So, like always, man, until next time.